Okay, what's going on guys? It's on your rings. Uh, here on my PS4. <clears throat> Don't know how the mic quality is going to be because I've never checked how good the Astros were, but I just wanted to give you guys an uh, update report on my progress in Destiny 2 because I haven't I streamed I in a few days, which I apologize for. Um, I've been playing with my brother-in-law pretty late at night, and usually when I stream late at night, I don't get any viewers, so I just haven't really felt like streaming, because, you know, what's the point in streaming if nobody shows up? It's just a waste of bandwidth. Um, so I'm going to try to start streaming earlier, but I can make no promises, but I will try, because I know that some of you are Destiny fans and want to see me play. Um, to those of you who will, you know, refuse to watch my Destiny streams, I'm just kind of curious as to why. I know a lot of people told me that I need to start doing more mainstream games, and I'm pretty sure this is as mainstream as it gets. I mean, Destiny 2 is one of the biggest games out right now. I, I like pretty much everybody who's a Destiny fan is playing it, so um, <coughs> I'm going to try to stream it more for you guys, so bear with me there. But I'm going to show you guys my progress, because um, I've been playing for a while, <coughs> a few days. So I'm going to show you my progress. So I'm 281 right now. Uh, I just got 281. I was only, you know, like 272 this morning, so I got up there pretty quick. Um, and I leveled pretty easy. If any of you need leveling help, let me know, and I'll tell you how to do it. It's pretty easy. Um, there's tons of other videos on, on YouTube, too, but some of them don't really go over how really easy it is. <coughs> anyway, so I'm using the Night Stalker Hunter class, and I'll go over what I'm using and why in a minute. Um, so this is my primary, my 290 Mita multi-tool. I got this tonight, and that's what boosted me so high. Because I was using my 265 origin story. It's 272 now, but it was 265. And going from a 265 to a 290 really boosted me. Then I've got the Mita mini tool SMG here. <coughs> Excuse me, I'm sorry. Um, and together, you know, you get a running speed boost when you have both of them together. But they're a good combination too. One for long range, one for close range. Then I just got a basic simple sword as my heavy, nothing special. I'm trying to get a rocket launcher with cluster bombs, but I'm not having any luck. Um, you know, just a ghost. So my cloak is pretty slacking. It's only a 277. It's actually a 272, but I have a plus 5 mod in it. I've got um, 273 boots, which are 278s because of the mod. All my gear has mods in them. Um, so you can just subtract 5 from the score if you want to know the base level of them. But I'm using the Orpheus rig. Exotics is my boots. It provides ability energy for each enemy tethered by shadow shot anchors. So if you guys know what the shadow shot anchors are, it's when myself, you go up in the air and you shoot bar, down this tail. bow and it makes a big That's orb good. and anybody that comes near it gets like tethered onto, gets like anchored, and they'll be slowed, weakened, <coughs> and take more, you know, more she damage from your from your allies. Herself, so this is really good and I'll go over why in a little bit. I got the Sovereign chest, and as you can see I'm rocking the Sovereign gear, I love the look of it, I joined the new Monarchy faction, I love the look of the gear. Um, I got the chest, the, uh, gloves and the mask on, um, I don't have their boots, I did have them, but since I'm using these boots, these work, they don't really match the outfit that well, but they don't look too out of place either, they look pretty good, um, <coughs> they just don't have like the gold trim on them. And then my cloak is nothing special, um, I just kind of like the look of it a little bit, so I kind of threw it on there and gave it a shader. So then I but my gloves are 279, chest is 283, helmet's 277, so I do have a couple pieces that are still lacking. I am in a level 4 clan as well. So that's all my gear pretty much, and you know, since I just hit 280, I, can, I pretty much made all my blue mods, any that I had three of, into legendary mods, which is super helpful for getting your power so level up. Because um, these all give you plus five on your defense when you throw them into your gun or your weapon. Um, <coughs> so the build I'm using is the, like I said, the Night Stalker class. I use the Vortex Grenade. I use the Melee Dodge. I use the High Jump. And I'm using the Way of the Trapper. And the reason I'm using Way of the Trapper is because of the boots. So this is a smoke bomb. It just slows and disorients people. Number two is sprint and sneak faster and gain enhanced tracker. Tethered enemies that are tethered by my super are um, marked for easy tracking. So like there's an X over them so you can see them and, and shoot them easier. Um, then when I shoot void anchors, um, shadow shot uh, at the ground, they just wait there for a while. They last longer and have increased range and they'll just wait for enemies to walk into them and snag them. 
and then this one just means when I dodge I vanish from sight for a short time. Really good for PvP, even decent for PvE if you're under fire and you need to get away quick. So it's a pretty good um, so then I pretty good tree, but these what two are the, like the really the, the bread and butter of it. And the reason why it's so good, most people go for this one because you can shoot your shadow shot multiple times in succession. I go, which I was going for this one first too, but with the Orpheus rig boots, you can basically shoot down your tether, and as long as a lot of people step into it, I'd say at least maybe five, six, or seven people, it drains the energy from them and gives it back to your ability. So you can shoot your tethers, let a bunch of enemies walk into them, throw your grenade at them, and basically, as they're tethered you're getting your grenade melee dodge and super energy back really quick i'd show you guys but it's late i need to get to some sleep so i don't have time to go you know play the game right now um but i'm sure you guys could look up some gameplay or hell you'll see it if i ever decide to stream again um or if you play the game then you might already know what it looks like but it's okay, great. it's absolutely amazing i did the uh witch ritual on titan that public event and when they all come out of that big giant portal I shot my tether down and they all just kept spawning in and getting trapped by the tether and I got like four supers in a matter of like 10 seconds and I just kept using them over and over again. I obliterated everybody. So sorry I'm talking fast guys, I'm limited to 15 minute record time on the PlayStation 4, um, <clears throat> which kind of sucks but you know it is what it is, I don't have an Elgato capture card yet, Elgato please sponsor me, I need you. So you know I gotta record with the built in encoder until Elgato sponsors me which they probably won't because I'm only got a thousand subs but until I can buy an Elgato in the in the future which is gonna be a long time but you know eventually I'll get one but I'm limited to my record time now so I'm gonna shut up and stop rambling that's it for this video I hope you guys enjoyed um, my little build here this is the only character I really have um, <clears throat> because I had a warlock that I messed up during the gearing process and I used my luminous engrams and stuff too soon so he got stuck and couldn't you know progress anymore and here's some stuff I have in my vault here are all of my exotics I'll show you real quick I have the merciless the fighting lion the sunshot vigilance wing graviton lance wardcliff coil or yeah wardcliff coil tractor cannon borealis risk runner and mita multi tool for my weapons for the armors, I have Mechaneer's Trick Sleeves, Raiden Flux, Dragon's Shadow, Celestial Nighthawk, Lucky Pants, and Orpheus Rig. Um, <clears throat> for, you know, just Hunter gear. I've got some Warlock gear and stuff, too. Uh, i got, you know, some, some decent emotes, nothing super amazing. Some emblems, none of them, again, are, you know, that amazing. Um, and then some other emblems here. So nothing super amazing, but I wanted to show you guys what was in my collection so you could see what my luck was for exotics. I got decent luck. Um, I still want to get the auto rifle that's like a minigun, but that's the only one I don't have yet. Anyway, thank you guys for watching the video. Like I said, I'll try to stream some more for you guys. Um, and uh, yeah, that's it.